But now, a vital part of tomorrow's world, tomorrow's girl. What will future science and technology do for her, or perhaps more to the point, what will she do with future science and technology? Tomorrow's girl could well look something like this, which is uh, very encouraging for a start. But on her head, no hair, a nylon wig, just a quick wipe with the damp cloth and your head's as good as new. You notice the shirt with no collar, but that is made of paper, just the thing for jotting down telephone numbers. In fact, you could uh, make notes all over yourself. The jacket and skirt uh, in plastic, uh, the sort of material that they used for covering kitchen tables not so very long ago. And the shoes are also in synthetic leather. And if the synthetic weather should prove unreliable, why then we have a plastic Macintosh with these uh, extremely interesting transparent pockets to discourage you from loading them up with all sorts of junk. As for the face of tomorrow's girl, well, if tomorrow is a trifle long coming and she meets it with wrinkles around the eyes, then she can rub in anti-wrinkle cream made of proteins from animals' blood and emerge as smooth as new. Oh, and uh, one other thing, the earrings. On tomorrow's girl, they wouldn't just be earrings, they'd be tiny transistor radios, light program for one ear, third for the other, uh, every taste catered for. And if you meet this girl, and take her out for a drink, why, where would you go? Obviously to the pub of tomorrow's world, the place where you dial nine for a drink. The pub of the future, Mark One at Hackney Wick. In this pub, the question, what will you have? Tonic, please. I think I'll just stick with a light ale. A nice scotch and soda. Leads to the unexpected. Press the button for a line. According to the directory, dial 145 for a gin and tonic. 169 for a double whiskey, 187 for a Bloody Mary. And if you want something unusual, like two cherries and a cube of ice, dial 100 for the waiter if you want him in person. Because this is an automated pub. At the other end of the line, it's a pint-sized computer that tells the barman what to pour and also adds up the bill. Every drink has a code, so does the table that placed the order. No difficulty catching the waiter's eye. It saves staff, time, gives better service, and all the rest of it. Nothing is safe from the tide of automation, not even the local. The prototype has finished its tests, and the first machine is being installed in London today. Theoretically, you could dial for anything, anywhere. It could be used in hospitals, for room service in hotels. In restaurants, you could dial your whole dinner, if you like, right down to the souffle. But how do you dial a fly out of your soup? Anyway, we're off to find a waiter. Good night. Oh, by the way, we shall be back same time next week with a preview of some more things from tomorrow's world.